Good morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, I thought about talking about Susanna Wesley, who was uh, the mother of several men um, from the past who had done great things and did a lot of um, missionary work and pastoring and spoke to millions of people um, because she, through some of the most difficult times in her life, continued to spend time in prayer, even if that meant hiding in a corner with the, her apron over her head, telling her children that she was praying and that they needed to let her be. Um, but I, and it is worth looking into if you get a chance to look up Susanna Wesley. It's an amazing story of um, we're just working through tragedy and struggles and continuing to have faith in um, in what God was going to do in her life. And she really did miraculous things, but um, or he did miraculous things through her in her life. But um, I really feel like the Lord is just uh, asking me to just share, like, we don't always know how things are going to go. Um, we don't know uh, what road the Lord is going to call us down, and we don't know even tomorrow if we'll have what we have today. And so I guess... Um, my encouragement to you this week is, well, I'll just, I'll share a story from my life. So, um, my mom passed away when I was 17 and before she did, um, she tried to spend as much time with the people that she loved as she could. And my husband happened to be one of the people that she got to spend a little bit of time with before she passed away. And at the time I was 17 and not interested in any more than just a friendship with my husband. He has been a very close friend of mine for a very long time. Um, but, um, I didn't have an interest in dating at all. Um, my mom had an interest in me dating him, but I did not. And, um, she asked him to watch out for me, uh, asked him to keep an eye on me for her. And he did, and he was patient and he was patient for over 12 years before I finally realized that this is who God had put in my life for a reason. And um, there were a lot of things that could have come in between him and I ever ending up together. And so if we spend all of our time worrying about the what ifs and we try to plan our life the way that we think it should go, we may stumble way more than we need to just leaving things in his hands. Um, his ways are perfect and higher than we could ever imagine. Um, I can't imagine my life without him, but I can't imagine how it ever would have worked if I had tried to make this, what I have with my husband now, have worked when I was 17. It, I don't think it ever could have. Um, so I don't know everyone's story, and, and this is just one little glimpse, but wherever you are, whatever your struggle, and however you think it's supposed to turn out, it may end up turning out that way but the path to that place may be much different than what you expect. And I guess no matter what each day brings, whether it's no electricity for a day or two or um, going through a financial struggle or you know, going through a medical thing or something with one of your children, um, family struggles, like he is still in control. And all he asks is that we go to him every day, just bring things to his feet Leave them there knowing that he is very capable of working all things out and just trusting. And I know that's hard. I know it is. And I have to remind myself daily that this is what we need to do when the news comes on and all these wars and rumors of wars and, and debt and all these things that come weighing down on us. I, I know it's hard, but we need to constantly and daily take it to him and trust that he's got it in his hands. So if today you are encouraged by this, I just um, ask that you would just do that, pray and leave it at his feet. Um, remember that he is, he is more in love with you than anyone else on this earth ever could be. And he wants what's best for you. And it doesn't always look like what we want it to look like, but he's good. Just like we're good to our children when we say no and when we say not now and they think we're the meanest people ever and say that they hate us and that they wish we weren't even here and right we're no different and he still loves us and he still wants what's best for us and it may look different than what we think it should but just keep trusting so that's my encouragement for you today and next week i have a really exciting uh, message to share um, that the Lord put on my heart when this first all started. So have a great week and I will see you next Saturday.